a sleep study called a polysomnogram. What's the last name? Equal. It's a test to see what your body does while you're asleep. The polysomnogram, or sometimes called a sleep study, is a diagnostic tool we use. It's a continuous overnight recording to monitor um, sleep patterns and problems with sleep, such as epilepsy, seizures, and uh, sleep apnea. How are you? <laughs> Come on back. I'll show you your room. When you arrive at the clinic, a sleep technologist will help you find your room. And this is where you guys will be staying, right here. Your technologist will keep an eye on you throughout the entire night. I'm Lori Luke. Nice to meet you. I'm Lori. The number one role for the technician is to help the patient and the family be comfortable. Hi, JR. Hi. How are you? I'm Brenda. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We want to make sure that the patient comes in and, and understands what we're going to be doing. Our sleep clinic here at Gillette has uh, got a resource nurse, an RN, who manages all the flow of the patients coming in and out. There are two physicians, myself and Dr. Laura Wills. Here in the lab we have uh, built-in hoyers to move kids from uh, chair to bed. Uh, the pediatric intensive care unit is right across the hall. We have a group of providers here who, who exclusively deal with children with disabilities. So all of the problems, whether they be neuro, neurologic or breathing or nutrition, orthopedic, uh, are, are just part of the workaday world here. Uh, if you go to a, a, a standard uh, adult sleep laboratory, they don't measure carbon dioxide. It's really important for us to measure carbon dioxide because it measures the effectiveness of ventilation with, for kids who have neurologic disabilities. Parents, please be sure to bring everything you would need for an overnight trip. This includes all of your medications in their original containers, nutritional supplies and formulas, and tubing for suctioning and respiratory cares. You might want to pack a favorite stuffed animal, blanket, or pillow to make your room feel like home. Don't forget pajamas and a parent or caregiver to stay overnight with you. And here's your room for the Here's where your parents will stay during your sleep study. They'll be able to check on you while you sleep by calling the technologist. When the parents and child come, the best thing they can do is bring anything that's going to make the child feel at home. So favorite blankets, teddy bears, pillows. Um, they're welcome to bring a, a movie to watch during the hookup. Um, snacks are fine. Obviously, we would prefer nothing with caffeine. And popcorn isn't allowed in the hospital. But we do have a refrigerator and microwave available. And also for the parents to bring things that are going to make them feel comfortable, too. I usually tell families, if you were going to go stay at grandma's house or if you were going to a hotel, what would you want to bring? What would you want there for yourself? Next, it's time to get ready. So we're going to get started. Um, as we put things on, we'll let you both know what we're doing, okay, and what everything um, is and what it's going to record. Okay, yes. I'm going to um, measure your head, okay? Um, so the text will explain step by step. Obviously, they're putting all the wires and electrodes on, um, but they need to show the family you know, and, and the patient what we're doing, what each piece does so that they understand, and also to make them comfortable and understand that nothing we do is going to hurt. Your technologist will measure and mark your head, then put little stickers on your face and around your head. Just like that. Good job. These stickers are called electrodes, and they'll help your technologist watch your body while you are asleep. So these are those little patches that are going to help us know how hard you're working to breathe, okay? It's a little cold. The technologist adds some other equipment, too like a special belt to monitor your you, breathing sir. and more stickers to monitor your heart. Then you'll get to wear a white hat to keep all of the wires from getting Go tangled. On. It all takes about 30 to 45 minutes and you'll have books and movies and TV to help you pass the time. You'll have some time to relax before bedtime. You can read, have a snack, or watch TV with your parents. Your technologist will watch you sleep the entire night. She can see you, hear you, and let your parents know how you're doing. The stickers collect information about how your body and brain work while you sleep. Most adult sleep labs have uh, two patients and one technologist. Most nights here we will have uh, two patients and three technologists or three patients and three technologists. 
what that tells the families and the patient is uh, we're never going to take our eyes off you. So we've made it a very comfortable place, yet it's a very safe place, especially for children with special needs. We're able to accommodate um, medical needs such as the suction and the oxygen and the lift system. Um, and I think parents really feel safe. We've had parents who um, don't really get much rest and we're able, number one, to find out why and help the whole family, not just the child. But sometimes it's nice, some parents have said it's been the best night's sleep because they come in, they know they're being well monitored all night long, they feel safe and they actually get kind of a little respite for the night. Before you know it, it'll be morning. Time to go home. Your doctor will call your mom or dad after the visit to tell them how everything went. They'll review your results and talk about next steps to help you get a better night's sleep.